It's there as fast as you can blink. And the amazing thing is, it travels a long way, sometimes hundreds of miles, to get to you in an instant. It's electricity, and it is the foundation for everything we do. So how does it get to us from start to finish in an instant? It starts at a source of generation, usually a power plant, like a natural gas facility or a nuclear plant, but sometimes at another source, like a solar farm. After electricity has been generated, it goes through an on-site transformer to step up the voltage, or pressure, of the electricity. This high voltage electricity is now better suited to travel across long distances on power lines. There are two types of power lines. The first is called a transmission line, and that's what you see attached to tall towers near the roadside. Transmission lines carry high voltage electricity from the power plant to your community. After electricity reaches your community, it passes through a transformer in a substation, and the voltage is lowered to a level compatible with distribution lines, the second type of power line. Then the electricity is pumped out across a network of distribution lines. These lines are owned and maintained by your electric cooperative, and they can either be located on poles overhead, or they can be buried underground. When the distribution lines are located overhead, you'll sometimes see other equipment, like telephone, internet, and TV cables attached to the power poles. So how does electricity get from the pole to your home or business? The voltage is lowered one more time at a transformer to make the electricity compatible with your appliances, phone chargers, and other devices. Now perfectly matched to meet your needs, electricity travels into your home on what's called a tap line. And that's where you'll find it, in an instant. So the next time you charge your phone, open the refrigerator, or stream a video, pause for a moment to think about the path of the electricity delivered to you by your electric cooperative. Brought to you by North Carolina's electric cooperatives.